here's a problem where we're dividing a quantity into parts. Eric has 30 inches of ribbon. He wishes to cut the ribbon into 12 equal size pieces. How long should each piece be? There are two important numbers in this problem. One is the 30 that represents the 30 inches of ribbon that Eric has. And the other is the 12 that represents how many pieces he's cutting the ribbon into. Um, here I have a piece of ribbon that's exactly 30 inches long. This could be Eric's ribbon. And uh, we want to imagine cutting this into 12 pieces. Well, that's quite a few pieces. Maybe one piece might be, oh, say, only about that much. I'm just making a guess here. Let's do the math and figure out exactly how long that one piece should be. Um, here's a possible picture of that ribbon. So here's a nice green ribbon stretched out. Eric's ribbon that's uh, 30 inches long, 30 inches of ribbon. This is another situation where we're taking a quantity and dividing it into parts. The quantity here is the total length of ribbon. The quantity divided by the number of parts will give us the size or the length of each piece. The quantity is the 30 inches of ribbon, the total length of the ribbon, divided by 12. That's the number of pieces of ribbon that we want. 30 divided by 12 here. Well, let's do the division. 30 divided by 12. See, 12 goes into 30 two times. 2 times 12 is 24. When I subtract, 30 minus 24 is 6. Uh, so I write 6 over 12. I have 2 and 6 12 inches is the length of each piece. Now there's one more thing I can do here. I can reduce my fraction. That's 2 and 6 over 2 times 6. I can cancel a factor above and below. That leaves me with 2 and 1 half inches is the length of each piece. And that's what we wanted.